Do you want to know how to make a perfect poached egg? Well, let me show you a foolproof method. All you're gonna need is a fresh, free-range egg, but with this technique, they can be a few days old. They don't have to be straight out of the shop. You're gonna need a pan with some water, some white vinegar, because it doesn't leave any taste, a sieve with a fairly open weave, a bowl, a small ramekin or a small bowl, and then a slotted spoon right to the end. So let's get cracking. Oh, sorry about the pun. So you're gonna need water in the pan. Just enough to cover up the eggs. So the pan goes on the hob, and then you just wanna add a splash of white vinegar. Use white vinegar because it doesn't taste of anything. You just want to turn it up to a fairly high heat to bring the water to the boil fairly quickly. Then you're going to need the bowl and the sieve. Take your egg and just crack the egg into the sieve. Put it back in there. And you can see the white, the runny part of the white running out. Now the reason I'm using a large sieve like this is because you might be able to see it in there what sometimes happens is that the white clogs up the weave of the sieve and then it stops running through but once it's finished its main run like that turn that out into the bowl so with the water boiling you then want to knock that back down so you, what you get is a slight simmer you're poaching the eggs not boiling them and I'm using an induction hob so it reacts pretty quickly. So you can see you've just got a slight simmer on the water. And then all you need to do is take the egg and then just gently lower it into the water and then let it start to cook. The reason you do it gently is so the egg doesn't go everywhere. You know when you drop an egg into boiling water normally it just explodes everywhere and you get all this white fronds and fruity bits and the yolk comes out and sits on the side and all that sort of stuff. Well, that's what you're not looking for. You want just a nice oval shape where the yolk sits perfectly within the white. You want to cook this between two and two and a half minutes, depending on how runny you like your egg. I like mine really runny, and about halfway through cooking, you just want to gently lift it off the bottom so it doesn't stick onto the bottom of the pan. And then you just leave that cooking. And then when it's finished cooking, just take it on a slotted spoon and you've got a fairly firm white there and a nice soft yolk. So this is the way I like to serve my poached eggs. Just on a little bit of toasted granary bread and a little bit of leftover rocket and then a pinch of cracked black pepper and a drizzle of authentic Just cut into this so you can see how lovely and oozy that egg is. Now that is a perfectly cooked, perfectly shaped, perfect poached egg. So if you like this video, hit me a like, subscribe so you can see when my next videos are coming out. I am the cooking photographer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm going to go for a now.